Today is Friday, May 3rd. I'm on the homestead. I thought I'd get this video done early because the sun is out and the heat is going to be on. I have a couple of things that I need to do. I've been working on the garden. So I've tried to keep you guys updated on what's going on, but uh, I've been falling behind. So because it's Friday, Fridays is the day that I post the new container that I am using to upcycle, upscale, reuse. So before I get into that, I'm showing you these two containers for a reason. I want to ask you guys a question, uh, but I want to get to the video first. So if you stick with me, you'll find out why I'm showing you these video is not going to be very long because I have a lot to do. So if you've been following this series, this is, I believe, the third installment. I show you why I'm the frugal gardener. I take items like these, these containers, these happen to be coffee, content, coffee cans that people throw away. And uh, I reuse them to save money. So, usually, I keep you guys guessing, and I don't show you the reveal until towards the end of the video. We're going to do things differently today. I'm going to show you what I'm growing and in what. These are pretty obvious to you. They're small food containers, and um, these have not been planted yet, obviously of course this one but like I said I'm gonna get right to the point when I was growing up in the streets my friends used to say I can show you better than I can tell you well this is me showing you I practice what I preach I've been do doing this for about 10 years now these are starters people buy starter pots why I have no idea when most of you use uh, these type of containers, these are, some are self-explanatory. This one is milk. These are uh, mushrooms. Here's another one that had, had coffee in it. The concept is simple. These are starters. So you take these, of course you wash them out, you put some drainage in the bottom, and you throw some soil in, and you plant whatever it is you're growing. In this case, I'm growing sweet potato slips, but this is uh, Jamaican sorrel, those are beans. These are uh, for uh, the honeydew that I planted, and it pretty much tells you on each one. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit into this, but I'm not gonna take much time. You want to look for containers that are darker because these are going to be in the sun for probably six to eight hours a day and it will retain water longer. If it's transparent, kind of like this one here, then you probably have to water it a little more often. There are advantages, and I guess you can say disadvantages, to all these. I'm reluctant to use this because it's small and it's not very deep. If you look at it in comparison, the deeper the container, the more space you have for the roots and the longer you can keep it in that container. This has outlived its growing space because I can see where this is starting to turn a little bit yellow. I need to get these out of here this, I believe, is also uh, Jamaican Sorrow, but I wanted to do this video first. So if you look at the size, this is a little deeper. This goes to my point. I cut the top of this from off of a milk carton, and I deliberately made it deeper so that the roots would have room to grow. This is kind of the opposite of that. So basically, what do you need? You need something that food came in that you would ordinarily discard. 
I have these place I have these things all over the place. This is not all of what I have. This is just a few. And um, preferably you want it dark. You obviously want to wash it out first and you want to put in drainage. And the other advantage you would have is it helps if it's window ledge size. This is the perfect size for a window ledge. And um, this here is something that you would probably have to put on the porch or patio or deck or someplace that has a little bit of room because of the size. That's why I chose these to show you. This is crappy soil. I suggest that you, if you can, get some better soil, some decent soil. And um, the only other tip I can give you is check on these on a daily basis or at least every other day because they're small and as I mentioned earlier they're going to dry out if you don't keep an eye on them. It's not a huge deal. You don't have to watch them like a hawk. Every other day check them. Stick your finger in it. If it's See if it's moisture. If there's moisture in here this, this is got a little bit of moisture in it. You can tell uh, if any of the soil sticks to your fingers, but that's it. I mean, this is the time of year. This is uh, early May, and um, this is around the time people actually start uh, planting their gardens. I mean, I'm in zone seven. There are people who probably started already because they're in a warmer zone. We have had unusually warm weather here. So this is my carton, container, whatever you want to call it uh, for this week. And I suggest that you start using these now because it'll save you money. These are containers that, uh, pots that I had around. This was a video I did before, but as I said earlier, I have a question for you guys. So I'm going to go back over here and also give you a look at what I have going here again. These are coming up really well. These are green beans. Well, at least most of these are green beans. There's a couple other things I have going in here, but that's basically it. Okay, so here's my question. I do these videos every Friday. Next Friday, I have to choose between this crate here and this container here. What I basically did, I cut the top off of here and I'm going to use this. There's a couple of, you know, here's the holes. I'm not sure if you can see it, the sun shining on it. I've already cut it. I've already added drainage. And now basically all I have to do is add the soil and I know what I want to plant in here, but I'm still open for suggestions. So what I'm asking you guys are two questions. One, which of these should I do next? Should I do the milk crate or should I do the water bottle, the water jug? That's the first question. Second question is, what would you grow in here? Because whatever's growing in here, these are not starters. These are going to be permanent until vegetables are harvested from them. So post it in the comments below. I'm curious to see what your answers or what your suggestions will be about what I should grow next week. So that's it for now. This is the Frugal Gardener. I'm glad you stopped by. I appreciate you uh, subscribing if you haven't. Hit the notification bell and I will see you guys next Friday. Enjoy your weekend, and remember what I always tell you. When you grow your own food, you'll always know where it comes from. Catch you guys later.